Got my coffee, got my money, and uh, today is the day I become the owner of a Ford Model A. Get some of that, Dr. Seuss. Um, <laughs> right now I'm very, very tired. It is uh, 5.20. I got up at 5. Got a six-hour drive ahead of me. Here we go. Here we have from about 50 to 60. Whew. Here we go. Even got trailer lights. You can't see me right now. up at 5 a.m. in a long, long time. And, uh... <coughs> pardon my coughing fit. Last time I got up at 5 a.m., I think I was going to buy something with my dad, probably. Some vehicle or something he drove home. Probably a Volkswagen Jetta, because... I think he's up to like seven of those now. Um, <coughs> goodness gracious. Got a bad morning cough. So, you may recognize this truck here if you've been watching the YouTube channel for quite a while. Yup, it's done. It's my daily driver, and uh, evidently I trust it pretty much. Because I'm getting ready to drive it six hours into Iowa and buy a car and haul it home. Here we go. <coughs> Air's cool. It's probably not smoking. Okay. It's not smoking. So uh, we just did our first fuel stop in somewhere in the middle of western Illinois. Um, it's going fine. The truck doesn't like pulling the car trailer any faster than 60 in fourth gear but that's fine we're not racing anybody to get to the model a uh oh spoiler i'll have to i'll have to edit this where i didn't say that i'm going to pick up a 1931 model a uh this is my friend micah um we met because he bought uh the 88 ranger that i engine swapped it was gray it was an stx i think it made it on the channel anyway i'm gonna give the camera to micah and yep talk to you so uh i found a really good deal on a 31 model a two-door sedan and i was going to use uh, the farm's uh, ford excursion to drive out and get it five and a half hour drive into central iowa from central illinois and the night before departure we discovered that the uh radiator is having some severe issues and we're mixing automatic transmission fluid with coolant and creating Pepto-Bismol so uh, no excursion for me 
So you may recognize this truck because it's the one that was four liter swapped. Uh, we started to video it on the YouTube channel and I'm a bad YouTuber, so I couldn't get motivated to record the rest of the engine swap process, but just know Zach worked his magic on the wiring and me and Micah and my cousin John and a whole bunch of us had hands on it and we got it together and it runs and drives great. And uh, it runs and drives well enough that I'm pretty darn confident taking it on a six hour drive to Iowa to bring a Model A home and drive six hours yeah. back. Uh, there's only a few things that are concerning, but as a whole, Micah and I are pretty confident. Are you, you're confident, right? Oh yeah. <clears throat> Oh yeah. Yeah, if anything breaks, we'll just fix it. Yeah. It's not that big a deal. So we did our first fuel stop, pulling an empty car trailer in fourth gear at 60 miles per hour, 11 and a half miles per gallon. I'll take it. I was expecting like seven or eight. So that's it. Catch up with you later on. might look pretty, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna talk in this one so we're gonna not cuss. Yeah. And <laughs> we'll manage. Oh yeah. Oh. That is pretty. Ooh, that love the drop. That's very nice. Alright, let me see the people. Turn them around. There you go. Okay. Uh, so we're about 40 minutes away from the guy's house that's got the Model A. We are going to stop at this local bar and grill and uh, have a cheeseburger and then go on to his house and uh, see the Model A. I'm so excited. Yes, sir. There's the place. So now we just got to find somewhere to park. Foxy's Chill and Grill in uh, wherever the heck this is, middle of nowhere, Iowa. Yep. I bet there will be somewhere down there. All right, you can shut her down. We're here. We made it in one piece. We did make it. We did it. Here you go, cameraman. All righty. 
trailer up in there and uh, we'll look at the Model A and see if Lowell's okay with us having our camera going. There's a Ford Ranger coming up behind us. Of course. A little step side. Man that's cool. We made it. Uh, Google Maps called it a five and a half hour drive, but we uh, we managed to do it in like seven and a half hours. Yeah, give or take just a, <laughs> just a, just a few minutes. All right. Uh, I guess you could leave it, leave the camera running, right. and just I don't know, kind of pan around to this cool signage and stuff. And yeah, uh, I'll ask Wall if he's okay with this. Oh. How the camera go? Let's see if my legs still work. Oh. Yep. I think so. What a place. She made it. I'm so excited. Must be Jake. You must be Lil. Oh. I made it. You made her. Man. Are you okay with us filming the Model A and stuff? I'm so excited about it. I just yeah. I'm documenting the whole journey. Yeah. It's I, so exciting. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what, it just, uh, it set, the, the guy owned it since 71 or 2, and it set, he redid it as a driver years ago, and he drove it all over, and then he put it in a building in 90, and uh, it just sat there, and that's why it's got the surface, it had the top on it when I got it. That's what you were saying. But I ripped it off, because it was hanging down inside, uh, all I, you can still see there's dirt hanging under the underneath it. I didn't even <laughs> clean, clean it off. All I yep. did is I got it running. Uh, I drove it around my acreage here. Uh, I put a new uh, water pump, carburetor, upper hose, intake gasket, uh, plugs. Uh, it starts right up. I I put a filter in the check off valve for the uh, gas tank okay. so, so you don't get the sediments in the carburetor. Yeah. It's kind of hard for me to get into. I got all the floorboards and and uh, stuff in the shop. But usually you just turn the key on and choke it one time and it's running. Oh, you gotta battery, put, battery's got to be hooked yep. up probably. Go ahead and stick that on there. Yep. I leave it, don't leave the batteries on anything. Yeah. Oh, what a thing. Nature. Yeah. Oh, 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 dummy. Dummy, dummy. Shut off. Yeah. <laughs> that would do it. Yep. Run, it the gas, run the gas out of the carburetor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> back there eh. yeah, you can sit back there. yeah I don't I don't weigh a whole lot so I might not go through the floor <laughs> well if you do go through the floor pick your feet up quick 
Yep. Yeah. Yep. Unless we're going down a hill, then you need to beat that. I'll just hold on to the top, hopefully. Uh, well, let's put that side down. Oh, yeah. Uh, got ahead of myself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just shut her down. She'll, she'll be fine. I'm kind of tickled pink. We made it here. I engine swapped that truck last winter. Yeah. And uh, it's the longest drive it's ever been on. A little intimidating. a goddamn coil wire that falls out. Oh. And I'll bet you a hundred bucks a coil wire fell out. <laughs> Can you hit a bump? <sighs> I should have taken it. I thought I spread it. And I know that's what happened. Yep. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Needs some tape on it. <laughs> Yeah, I put a new water pump on it, new, uh, it had the carburetor, they put a bit in it. No, little, little shut if you... Okay. I didn't want to get too rough with it. Back to run it. Oh, what a dream. <laughs> It's a smooth run a little thing. Get her again. The rough, <laughs> the rough bumps take her out. I might just have to put her. Yeah, it should. Be. I tried to spread it and get it to stay up in there, but this is awesome. <laughs> this is great. You just stick it back in. And... Yep. <laughs> oh. I'll have to mash that uh, little crimpy end on there or something. Yeah. Squish it a little bit, get it to stay on. I got all we'll the manage. wood floorboards, uh, I got the back seats, the, the back seat, the upper, the, the wood's run so it doesn't hook in. Yeah. I got bad knees, so I'm right there with you. I'm not too far behind you either. So how did it go on the Pontiac? Did you get it to fire? Oh, I got to turn over. Left side, left side.
Your trail wire fell out. Probably. <laughs> well, look. Yeah, that. Like I said, I only drove it once around the field. Let's see if I can get out of here. You can just stay. I mean, you could just ride back there to Illinois and hold stuff. I'll bet the trail wire is down. That might work. Yep. Oh. There it is. See it. <laughs> Put it right back up in the gun. I had some tape on it, but it came off. Ah. But no, the carburetor's gone through. The oil's changed. It's a little over full. Uh, I put a new intake gasket in it. I put this gasket in new, but it was leaking a little bit. And I got a brand new belt for it. Okay. Uh, trying to say, that window regulator over there on the, that side is stripped. Otherwise, all the windows roll up and down. Uh, needs a front bow, needs a yeah. back bow, and a wood around the window. Does the uh, hood latch at all, or do we just yeah, put no straps? Latch. Okay. I just didn't do it. Well, you want to see something goofy? Oh, Look at this. Neat Stand in front of it. Got any headlights? Uh-uh. Oh, they all quit. They all were working. Something, cl something clicks. I hear a click. Yeah, they were working, believe it or not. <laughs> I have to tinker around with those. But some, this window we're going to rip, you can see the cloth fuzz on there yet. I ripped the top off. Because it, oh, it it'll just to, keep rotting, you know, under that top. That moisture sitting under it. So. Well, it sat under there and it had it, it had got under there and it ate, ate the wood. It sat well since 90, so 30 some years. Wow. And the tires are dry rotted. Yeah. And this room here is rusted out. Oh, that won't hold much air. So there's an extra <laughs> wheel. There's a, I'll show you one inside that goes with it. This is so cool. Very cool shop. Yeah, yeah. I've been through a car since we were I got an old line job in 40 years. 40 years? Yeah. There's the rear seats out of it. Bottom and back. This is the bottom and that's the back. The wood's rotted in the back. The bottom is good. Okay. Bottom is real good. Oh, but the back good. where it hooks this piece up here is bad where it hooks in. Okay, then are the door panels off it. That's all that I got with it. That uh, part of the door upholstery, and you, you can have that. The seat, then over here, I'll show you what I got over here. Yeah, that car, same owner since 61. That's a car that's 27 years. <laughs> Man, that's cool. <laughs> it's even got a great color. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. Beauty. Okay, here's some Whoa. new parts. Here's a new back window rubber. Uh, floorboard seals. One hook cap. A new fan belt. New points. New condenser, oh, which has never been in it. Uh, brushes for the starter. Yeah. Uh, there's a wrench to tighten up your water pump <laughs> where the packing is. Uh, Some sort of gasket. Leather hood corners. Oh. Uh, headlight pads. Oh my gosh, that's cool. And Door handle pads and a new wiper blade, and this is the back window. Well, that's a giant windshield wiper, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> sure is. Here's the rest of the stuff. This is a Whoa. rear bar that goes between the two rear bumpers instead of that piece of steel he's got welded there. This okay. is the bar that goes with it. Huh. This is the, the door inside the doors when you open them. 
where the latch goes in them, these go in there. These are the two front door trim. This is the piece that goes around the steering column that comes through when you get oh. a, the floor. Yeah. This is the battery cover through the floor. Oh my gosh. This is the inside rear view mirror, the wood, it was in the back seat. That's a rear view mirror. Uh, this is an engine pan. Engine. This is the upper floorboard and that's the lower floorboard. And this is the back window trim. For one side, I told you it was missing one side. Yeah. And this is the rear window frame. Going around the rear, and there's four old shocks. Oh my goodness. That all goes up. Everything a guy could possibly need. Everything you go. Model A is common. There's a lot of Model A parts. Yeah. You know. Well, so that's what I got. I'll show you the title. It's in my name. Uh, it's got new plates on it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, just go straight. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So close. Almost lost him there. You got her. Got down pressure. Okay. You might come ahead a little bit more. Good. I think. Shut it off. Plenty. It looked like it went down quite a bit. Didn't it? Yeah. Push yeah. up on that. There you go. Yeah, it's sagging a little bit now, but not bad. Uh -huh. Sagging a little bit now, but not bad. Yep. I just I drove my Model A on the trailer. <laughs> what a sight. Oh, the clutch is good, she's spinning. Oh, yeah. Wish my truck did that. You were spinning <laughs> gravel. <laughs> is that a four liter in that truck? I swapped a four liter into it. Yeah, that truck would have, it would have originally had a 2.9. Two. Yeah. I swapped a four liter and the Mazda five speed into it. Yep. Yeah, the doors fit, the doors fit nice on it. They're, they're done. I'm gonna get up there and get that visor off. Yeah, I think it's got one small screw in that corner. Did you change your battery cable off? I did. You're good. All right, time to strap her down. I can't believe I'm the owner of a 31 Model A two door. <laughs> and I'm taking it home with me. Oh man, this is exciting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yep. It's got everything you could need on there. I mean, well, we got a cabin, so 
I put a seat in the back so we get out and give the little kids rides. Oh, in yeah. Their cabin. We drive around and this people just about dropped off. Dropped <laughs> <the feet. laughs> I got birdhouses on both sides of the taillights. Oh, man. License plate bed floor and everything. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, we got a lot of miles to cover. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. You bet. And, uh, I'll keep you up to date. Yeah, that, it's just that old car just got a look to it. It does. It's, yeah. It does. I was drawn to it. The first picture I saw, I just the patina. Love it. You know, if you like patina, they they spray that with clear. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yep. there was. Oh shit! I had so many guys email me on this thing. And I'm I just, sure. I just put in there when I talked to you that day. I, I told my wife, I said, I'm just gonna put pending and put a stop this bullshit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, my dogs, they, they're friendly. Well, yeah. thank you again for everything. You guys have a safe yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you too. You got, you have a safe trip. You know, it's not one wheel, big brakes. You just slid them right there. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I am the proud new owner of a Model A. And uh, we got a lot of miles to cover now. And yep. the, the question looms, Micah, mm -hmm. will the Ranger pull a 1931 Model A Ford two-door seven hours home? We're about to find out. Yeah. Not Nine hours, probably. Yeah, probably closer what to that. What time do you got to get up tomorrow for work? Um, about six. I'll manage. Once we get downstate a ways, maybe you should take a nap. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. Definitely wouldn't be a bad idea. I've ran off of Shia four hours of sleep a few times. Oh yeah, so it's, it's doable for sure. It's definitely doable. I'm gonna watch these straps, see how much they jiggle. None. <laughs> yeah, she ain't going nowhere. Oh, man. Okay, well, we are officially past the edge of Lowell's property, and the truck hasn't stalled yet. So we're going in the right direction, I think. I think so. I think it's going to be just fine. Yeah, even with the hill, it's doing just fine. I got to say, everything today has just been fantastic from having a killer co-pilot. The weather's been beautiful. Appreciate the roads it. have been safe. The truck's been running good. Lowell was one of the nicest old hot rodders I've ever met. It's just been a very blessed day. Yep. All right. Couldn't have been better. We're off. Well, uh, we tried to get on the interstate and it didn't go well. So we got back off the interstate and now we're back on the two lane highways. <laughs> oh, the poor old Ranger just didn't cut out to be towing that beautiful machine on the interstate. It just, this truck is not set up for towing uh, long distance like that. So we're gonna get on the two lane highways and just be safe and uh, keep our wits about us. Um, what happened on the interstate was I came on an on-ramp and traffic was so heavy, both lanes completely stuffed. So I was giving the truck all she had and for some reason the pressure side of the high pressure fuel line burst apart and splashed some fuel around in the engine bay and we lost fuel ended up on the shoulder uh, the shoulder of I-80 between Cedar Rapids and Davenport on a Sunday evening at like 5 or 6 o'clock it's getting kind of dark could have died so uh, I think it shook Micah and I up a little bit <laughs> but we coupled the fuel line back together don't know why it blew apart 
and uh, now we're gonna just take the two-lane highway and take our time and be safe so we'll catch up with you guys later on she's she's a beauty i'll roll the window down get a good look at her oh yeah that's a beautiful automobile right there I got home <clears throat> at midnight last night <clears throat> and uh, whew, man I was tired <clears throat> lots happened since uh, I last posted on the YouTube channel like a lot uh, some of you might notice this is a different garage than I normally work in I moved I bought a house but uh, Think of it as an investment property. I actually just moved here in between getting my house sold and finding a place out in the country with a shop or enough room around it to build a shop. Anyway, this is where I live now. <clears throat> Let's go outside and see what there really is to see. The reason I started in the garage is because <clears throat> I need to park the Riviera outside. Oh my gosh, that garage door is squeaky so that I can bring the Model A in the garage. So uh, I'm gonna get the camera set up and um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, it is the next morning. Uh, it's nice and cold from the drive like 70 million hours home from Northern Iowa yesterday. So we'll see how she starts.
coil wire fell off. What a treat. I gotta fix up this coil wire so it doesn't fall off anymore. I can't believe I own a antique Ford car. Oh, I just, it's absolutely crazy that it has finally become a reality. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fix this coil wire up and then we'll go for a little drive. I don't know if the camera's gonna stay up there or not.
I'd say the first test drive went great. It runs great. And uh, everything else it needs is just drivability and comfort stuff like tires and uh, a roof, stuff like that. But, oh my gosh. It's just surreal. I can't hardly believe I'm the owner of a Model A. I gotta shut the fuel off. Oh, goodness. There it is. I just can't even believe it's real. But it is. And uh, it's just the right car for me. Not too shabby. Just shabby enough. <laughs> Thank you for watching.